For many, Anzac Day is one of the most sacred on the calendar, but it's also one that raises the question, should the Australian War Memorial honour diggers with their own specific monument to highlight Indigenous contributions to past and present military campaigns? It's important that we don't separate Aboriginal people and their sacrifices from the sacrifices of non-Aboriginal people. That doesn't go down well with Johnny Lovett, whose family name decorates the Veteran Affairs Building in Canberra. He wants the government to recognise and respect black soldiers, including 19 members of his own family who have served from the World Wars through to Korea and more recently East Timor. And remembering too that uh, when my father and, and other Aboriginal soldiers uh, volunteered, and they did volunteer, uh, it was at a time when Australia was very, very strong on an all-wide policy. came and joined the colours when the ward god's angle rang. He took up modern weapons to replace his boomerang. He waited for no call up, he didn't need a push. He came in from the stations and the townships of the bush. He helped when help was wanting, just because he wasn't deaf. He's right amongst the columns of the fighting AIF. He is always there when wanted with his Owen gun or Bren. He is in the forward area, the place where men are men. He proved he's still a warrior, in action not afraid. So they'll tell us the Middle East. Is that the middle? Indeed, the last time we did this, we were doing that block. <laughs> Lest we Yeah, all we're going to do is just march up to the top there and just stay up the back there, you know, when they do all the official them. Yep. And we're not going to engage in that sort of thing up there. Okay. We made them aware that um, we wanted yeah, to no. sort of remember the colonial wars and that's all it is. Yep. Okay. Um, but it's just a silent yeah. sort of parade. So you just want based on a tag on behind you, the march? Uh, yeah, as you can see, you know, it's just identifying where the massacres occurred, what date, what, what yep. um, places, okay. and that's it. Well then, let me find out what's going on um, through our boss for the War Memorial. And no worries. I'll tell you. Good on you. Cheers, mate. Thanks, mate. This is kind of excited a few people like the RSL and stuff. <laughs> what, so so um, I just wanted to find out what, what yeah. is your intention for no, no, from we, today? They, they're all marching up there, yeah. and we're just going to join, leave the space, right, and just, okay. just stand behind. Oh, and talk. Okay, no worries. And um, nothing else. Okay, sounds that's good all. to me. <laughs> it's yeah. easy. All right. yeah. No, 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 no. It's just just bringing, yeah. making people aware, and yeah. just to remind Keith Winchuttle that. Um, 
He's tell, he don't know history properly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, um, no, I it's, certainly it's understand what no, you're doing. I just right. obviously yeah. um, I'm just well, I'm really you know, concerned about what the reaction might be rather than what you're doing. It's a recorded in books all around the country. Yeah. And so we just want to add another chapter to this here because it's you know it's a healing process and all yeah, that. Yeah. No, no, I understand yeah. that entirely. But other than that, it's just a yeah. just a silent sort of little thing. Where people can see. Well, and, that, and that's good. That sounds good. Good on you, mate. <laughs> good. Yeah. No, no you enjoy your day like everyone else does. Okay. Not a problem. Good on you, mate. We've been dying on this soil for many hundreds of years now since the white man came and we've been doing that in defense of our land. They've had the superior force and mightier weapons but they've never been able to conquer us you know and um, they've been able to imprison us, jail us and all that sort of stuff but we've never acquiesced, we've never ceded sovereignty and, um, and we are in defense of our day, land every day of the week. This is a hidden war, it's a war of stealth, and unfortunately, when we want to remind people of this, then people take offence and they call it a protest. This is not a protest, this is just being totally respectful of the fact that our people have got a message to relay and Australia cannot keep hiding it. Like at Hospital Creek in north, nine, kilometers, nine miles north of Rewarana, we want to excise that land there because the human bones are still visible, and that's my ancestry. They were shot at this place. We had three people who survived this massacre. But that was a private army. They were made up of all the cockies and pastors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The reality is we need to sort of remind people of this. And you go to Germany and you dig up all the bones where they mass, you know, mass murders occurred. Uh, in Germany, you go to Serbia now where, the, where they you know, buried people in mass graves where they massacred them. They've now created a situation there where these things are memorial parks now to the dead who were killed there. Here in Australia we don't have that and I think it's time we did that. Nobody carrying them 1916 ones and 1928 ones. And 1928 <laughs> over there, where's the 1916? A couple of back. 1918. Can you go on that side over there, please? Just to, so they can see how recent that was. Well, 
least we got a band in front of us. Hey. Any other day. As we march. Yeah. What are you doing today? What's your point? We're just reminding the people that a lot of Aboriginal people died on this soil, spilling their blood in defence of their land. You th and this is an appropriate place to do it, an appropriate day? I think it's an appropriate time because it's a day that we remember the dead and we remember people who fought in wars and um, we can't forget our war here. That continues to go. So, I mean, obviously you don't have an official status in this march. Is that disappointing to you? Well, I think it will grow. It's like everything else, you know, from little things, big things grow, so. Um, and we're just reminding Australia that it has a, has a history. And are you hoping to walk all the way up here and join all the other ex-service personnel at Central? No, here? we stay at the road. Just, you, that'll be enough for you? That's enough for and us. And that's because you feel you've made your point, you don't want to, you don't Absolutely. Want to defend? Or Absolutely, yeah. And our point is made, and, and we just want to tell the people that, um, you know, this is a day that we need to remember as well, and it cannot be forgotten, because there's too much forgotten in this country. Yeah, and we need to bring the history out and make the public much more aware. Good yeah. to talk to you. Thank you. And it's not a protest, by the way. <laughs> it's not a so, protest. So how would you start a commemoration? A commemoration. A commemoration. commemoration. Yeah. And uh, no nice worries. to see you again. Of course, as you came, which was It nice. was wonderful. Yeah, well, it's a level of acceptance, That's which right. is wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> It'll grow. Just look at the difference, like this year to last year, even. Yeah. The difference yeah. the fact you're getting, you know, yeah. people reporting. And, and, and there's a lot more people here as well. Yeah, that's right. Which is good. Yeah, better acceptance, I think. So, yeah. <laughs> good on you, mate. Have a great day, yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah. What about those people that say maybe it's not appropriate on uh, Anzac Day? Well, it's a day that we're remembering the dead, isn't it? We're remembering people who fought in wars and. Um, and I have, you know, I had a lot of family who, who fought in wars and died and they're buried overseas. Um, they went in those wars, but they came back and were second class citizens and um, had to return to reserves because they were wards of the state. And they went back home and their white mates that they fought with got soldier settlement grants and they were never compensated for their efforts in the war. And the RSL is still burying people um, and a lot of our people are buried in unmarked graves out there and the RSL should be out there um, looking for those people and burying them. Properly. My name's Greg Ansett from New Zealand Herald. But How are you? Good, thanks, mate. I'm uh, just interested in, particularly in the response you got there. You had a pause all the way up. Yes, we did. Are you expecting that? No, we got shocked last year. Sorry? We got shocked last yeah. year at the floors, <laughs> yeah. and, and it was great. Now, it's a, it's a, people understand that this is not a protest. They read the signs. I, I think the public are um, a little bit more you know, uh, knowledgeable and a lot more tolerant than the politicians and the administrators um, truly think. And it, it's a healing for us to see that that acceptance and that they will do that here. Yeah. Courage, teamwork, perseverance against adversity, fairness and compassion. These are the qualities the Australian community and the ADF share.
400 of these tribes from around Bawarana um, all come together for a big corroboree. And the farm owners found out about it, so they all came there and they butchered it. They shot all, they shot women, kids, women, children, elders, and young fellas, all going through ceremonies during the corroboree. And after they murdered them all, after everyone was dead, they actually cut them all up. And, to, and to, still to this day, if you go to that tree and dig around, you, you will find bits of human bone. What happened during the frontier period is mass killings. They were slaughtered. There are dead people everywhere. There's, there's sites um, all over Australia where massacres occurred. And these massacres occurred primarily because the farmers and they got their posses together. And then they went out and they killed the people to move them off the land, clearing the land of the blacks. Okay. You know, like murder does not have a, an end period. And it's about also easing the pain of a lot of us who've had that message passed on to us, where, you know, we go past and we talk about, you know, there's bodies over there, there's bones over there, there's people there. They've never been buried, there's never been a requiem. And I think we owe it to our ancestors to make that happen. What would it take for you to let us through, Constable Chapman? What would it take for you to let us through, sir? Aboriginal people never laid down when people came into their country. They resisted the best way they could. And of course the Crown sat idly by watching this happen and where Aboriginal people became too strong, sent in military forces. 2015 is the centenary of Australia's participation, they say, in the major wars. And I think it's time that, as part of that, we also take time to reflect. Australia was not settled peacefully. It has the most horrible history of genocide and war crimes against the people and crimes against humanity than you will ever find anywhere else in the world. 250 nations. Can you understand that, my friends? You're all from another land. We're in the same uniform of this country. You're standing on sacred ground. And my brother's name is on that wall. I come to this town to honour him and honour everyone. Just honour us and let us through. We are not criminals. We are Indigenous people, Aboriginal people of the land. Every Australian knows the Aboriginals have a sovereign right to this country. And I just want, I want to see that acknowledged by the government. <laughs> Oh, please, please not. Please well, not. Well, why aren't you marching? Well, I want to march with my people. Yeah. I'm an right. ex-serviceman as well, mate. Yeah, okay. mate. Look, you're in uniform. You're a, you're a copper. Yeah. Right? Why have we been segregated? You haven't been segregated. Yeah, we you are. just segregated us. You, you just segregated us. Because you don't have a permit to march with these people. Up to, what, up to so, so all lights. these vet, all these veterans that that have, have, have a permit. permit. Yep. Can you produce it for me? No? I'm a veteran. I'll allow you to go to the next set of lights, OK? Yeah? Yeah? Sorry, but have a listen. I'll allow you to go to the next to lot. You can do whatever you want. Oh, you can no, I can't. I won't do whatever I want. You can arrest them. Okay. Why do they change coppers? Listen to me. Once they've progressed past the next intersection, you can go as far as the next intersection, okay? That's all I'm going to let you do. Wait here. Wait here until the bark moves on, please. Can I have my flag, please? They changed coppers. I'm not going to let Fred go up there by himself. I'm going with him. No, and you can stop as well. No, no, no. I'm going to march with my mates. You can remove that flag. I'm going to march with my mates. I serve with my mates. I'm going to march. You take another step and you'll be arrested for a breach of the peace. I'm not breaching Take another step and you'll be arrested for a breach of the peace. I am going to march. You can put your flag down and you can go and join your mates up there, okay? You can put your flag down. This is my flag that I serve No, it's not a military flag. It's not part of the parade, okay? It is. Please, you can put the flag down and you can join your mates by all means. But you won't be joining it with that flag as part of an organised group here, okay? Do you understand? Kylie, could you bring that thing from the Queen, please? Okay, you won't be joining with that flag, okay? You won't be progressing past this point until they've moved off, okay? 
Sorry? How I said, you would maintain a distance from them until they've moved on, okay? Don't be selective in your sentences. This is not a day for you. Do you go on a march or something? No, no, somewhere to put it. Mate. Crafty. Do you want me to go up with this in case that flag yes. comes out? Don't take the flag out, dude. If you take the flag out, it Yep. Permit to participate in this? I've got. I, have, I do have a media permit. You have a media permit to participate in this event? No, but I filmed every year. Yep, no worries. If you just like to go back to your friends, thanks. You can film from back there. I walked up with a police escort to the to the um, Canberra Submarine Association, and then I walked back. Yes, that's right. I didn't okay. march. And we okay. explained to you this right. land is under the control of the RSL at the moment. Well, that's fine. Because you're not part of an authorised march, they do not let you on well, there. Well, okay. I'm a member. Yeah. I am also a member okay. of the RSL. What's happening every other year? What's, what's different so, about this year? I'm not talking to you. I know. Okay. I'm not talking to that's you. That's fine. Right. Then nothing. Yeah. Okay. okay. So what, law did did break? Your... what law did I break? What law did I break? What law did I break by wanting to march with the people that I have served with? Okay. Who served this country? Go away over there with you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Please make the law around Good here. On you, mate. I was desperate to get out of that. Willie's name. Well done. Oh, I got the numbers. I didn't, there's no name Willie's tags on them. So I'm, I'm a serviceman that can't march in the march because I'm an Aboriginal person. I cannot march in a march to celebrate my grandfather, my great uncle who was refused a VC on the Kokoda Trail, Harold West. Harold West is the person who started and commemorated the Black Diggers March in Sydney, where they are marching now. I cannot march in this parade to commemorate my, my people. Because you're Aboriginal. Because I'm Aboriginal. So listen to me now. Listen to me. Have the decency to listen to me. Yes, if you continue yes, to progress in this fashion with this amount of noise, yes. You'll be arrested for breaching the press, okay? okay. No, and and well, you won't make that stick in a court of law. So and the we'll be speaking to the Commissioner the on beauty. Tuesday. Tell me what, what is breaching the press. Right, so, so, don't, so, so did you serve in the Defence Forces? What I did. You said you served said you in the Defence Forces. And then you, you said you served. Where's right? your medal? Hey? There's my medal. There's my medal. There's my medal to say that I served my country. I served this country. I'm just telling you now. I served, okay. I served on behalf of all the black fellows as well in this country. An incident. Okay. Okay. And I'm not allowed to march. So, so could you lay that wreath on my behalf? No. Why not? Okay. I'm telling you now. If you can you get somebody down to lay this wreath on my behalf? In this manner of behaviour, you'll be arrested I'm, I'm for breaching the peace, okay? I'm Today is I'm the 100th anniversary of Anzac. I know. My grandfather served. Will respect the day. And I respect my grandfather. And I respect. And I also respect all the Aboriginal people that served. mate. If that fellow want to keep mouthing off, tell him to go. From now on, it's just going to be a silent vigil here, no noise, right? And we just have the boomerangs and just the, and the clap sticks because that's part of our ceremonial thing. You can just have that. But we just stand in silence. And if you want to break that silence, you're disrespecting our orders. And let's just stand here in peace and let's make this a silent protest, a silent now, because what we need to do, eh? They're provoking the young people yeah, no, too. But the thing is, if we stay in the line and we start just stay in the silence, with this here, because those cameras up there can't miss this sign, okay? So let's just keep it quiet and let's just make sure that we do the right thing for ourselves, okay, and our mob, okay? No 
So what's the mood today, Michael? Anyway, it's just the same thing up to the top of the barrier. Yep. barrier there. When we get up there, it's a solemn thing. We're not going. No one's to be shouting. We're going to ask everybody to be respectful. Yep. Yeah. Going to lay a wreath. Yeah. 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 Well, good That's idea. Right. Yeah. Um, and so this one here, and then oh, there's another yeah, one over here. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. The concerns have been raised that it's going to be a one for one shouting match with megaphones and so no, forth. No way. That's, that's just not going to work for anybody. No, 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 so, no. They will move me out of here if they do that. Yeah, this is the day for this. Yeah. And this is the opportunity. I want to see you get that opportunity. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, this is the shield I'm trying to claim back from the British Museum. Uh, not at the moment. Yeah, I just got a letter sent from the British Museum. I just basically said they can, yeah, they'll loan it to me. Do it like a boomerang, eh? Do it like a boomerang. The photographers, I just want to go out and shoot one shot back. Is that okay? We're shooting for the organizers. How do we get out? Go around? Ladies and gentlemen, the Catafalque party will now be mounted at the Stone of Remembrance. Ladies and gentlemen, this year the commemorative address will be delivered by the Prime Minister of Australia, the Honourable Malcolm Turnbull. Thank you. As we were reminded by Sergeant Norman Demarenko and his didgeridoo a little while ago, we are gathered today here and around Australia on Aboriginal land, here in Canberra on the land of the Ngunnawal people. And we acknowledge their elders, past and present, as we do around Australia, and especially today, we acknowledge the service and the sacrifice of the first Australians who have served our nation in our defence forces as Sergeant Demarenko is serving us today. The Caterpillar Party will now dismount the Stone of Remembrance. We belong to the land of blood and bone, the redness, the soil. This is who we are. As I say, welcome. For healing, a message. We live on a land of blood and bone, so sacred. We are one. We live. In the eyes of Mama Ngayanga Wurwura Babrugai, the creator, the universal lawman, Ngayanga Ngalinga Jagung Yowei Yowei Mai. Our ancestors are going home. It doesn't matter what color. We are all universal spirit of the sacred land. The land of blood and bone is who we are, our representation. That's why we put the red ochre, the white ochre. The brown represents the marron of who we really are. As we send our old people home together in one unity, unification, that's where they belong. What we call the mountain in the sky, that's where they belong. Each and every one. Lest we forget the things. The crooning of the living dream Until you hear the throb of blood inside 